Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Mark Gibson, the head pro at the RACV Royal Pines Golf Resort in Queensland, Australia, where he's going to teach us a great putting setup technique that's going to help us feel more confident, consistent and in control of our putting game. But before we start, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around till the end of this episode, I'm going to give you access to our famous Golf University Skill Assessment, which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out how to get better contact, consistency, and control with our putting. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. We want to make you a good putter. And to do that, you have to have consistency, control, and from those two will come your confidence. To develop that, you need to have two components. You need to have a very good technical structure, where we're just about to teach you that now. You need to have solid mental skills that we're going to address later in the series. But what about the technical skills that we need? Our goal first up is to make sure that we get the ball rolling properly. And to test that, I use this board and the two coloured balls. What we want to see is we want to see the ball contacted with the putter. When the putter makes contact, we want the ball to skid and then go into a roll. That roll should be even on both sides, so it'll roll normally. The things that we don't want is we don't want the slice spin where the ball will flight. Or we don't want a hook spin which will make the ball roll this way from the ball rolling left. Both of those will impact on your direction and your control. So how do we get this good technical component? It's not all that difficult. There's a couple of parts of this that are really relating to setup. So from front on, I want to see the ball positioned about two inches left of my sternum. That's for the right hander. I want to see my feet nice and wide so that my legs will give me a stable base. You never see a building where the base is narrower than the top. We need that base nice and wide. The other thing that I want to happen is, I want you over the top of the ball so that your eyes are directly on top of the line. And that way you're able to aim properly. That's also going to help your stroke be very neutral, which will give us that roll that we want. So here's the example. That's a good looking setup ball position wise. Now I've tucked my elbows in by my side, my stable base is here, and now I'm going to move the putter by moving my chest. Now, what I've got here is the feeling of my elbows in, which is a lock, and I make my chest move, which is a rock. And that's a really good short phrase to practice. Lock and rock. That'll give you the stroke that'll get that ball roll that we want. Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful. Or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. So to access the Golf University skill assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent and in control of your golf game, I also want to personally invite you to join our 19th hole clubhouse and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19thhole.club or click the link in the description below. 
As a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus, you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel, tours, and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like myself, you can also join our members-only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson, or you'd like to ask some questions, or maybe you've even got a suggestion for another episode, then leave a like and a comment below, and my coaches and I will do our best to answer them for you. And if you've got any golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon below too, so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.